Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we discussed about the introduction part of water supply engineering or the environmental engineering. And we discussed about the types of source of water and some important terms regarding this environmental engineering. If you haven't watched that video, please go and check it out as that is the prerequisite to watch this video. Coming to today's video, we have water demands. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and that would greatly help me. So, the total quantity of water required for a town depends on rate of demand, design period, population till the end of design period. So, the design period is nothing but if we are constructing a dam, we think we uh, evaluate the design period considering various factors. Considering the material we are using and the serviceability conditions of that structure. So, depending upon that, whatever the population it is there till the end of design period and the design pe whatever the design period we have evaluated the rate of demand that is the water required per day so this is also i have explained so the rate of demand is expressed as lpcd that is liter per capita per day that is per day per person okay how much of a water is required we are taking that as rate of demand but in terms of liters in liters per person per day uh, we have various types of demands as per the IS code 1172 1993 so for an average Indian town without full flushing system for a LIG that is low income groups this is the uh, regular amount of water required so this the domestic one industrial and commercial demand public use losses so for domestic purpose they are provided with 50 to 60 percent that is 135 liters industrial and commercial demand 20 to 25 percent 70 per 70 liters public use 5 to 10 percent losses 15 to 20 percent okay so totally we have 270 lpcd but whenever we are providing full flushing system that is high income groups the first case is low income groups lig so with full flushing system that is hig domestic it is 200 so initially it is 135 increased by 65 liters and the remaining would be same that is industrial and commercial would be 70 public use would be 10 losses would be 55 so totally it is 335 liters per capita per day for low income groups it is 270 lpcd for high income groups it is 335 lpcd also do remember these values and these percentages as that is very important and commonly asked for exams the per capita demand for nursing homes boarding schools and hostels is 135 lpcd okay fire demand this is very important part generally 5 to 10 percent of total demand of city we, we are taking as fire demand but the, uh, we do have some formulas for calculating this we formulae are given over here so generally three streams for each fire at 1100 liters per minute minimum water pressure is 1 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square okay so whatever the uh, streams are there there we are providing the fire at 1100 liters per minute okay and this is the pressure we have to maintain next coming to the formulae we have empirical formula for fire demand. First one is Kutcherin formula. Q is equal to 3182 root P. Where root P is nothing but in this P is the population in thousands. Remember we are taking population in thousands. Okay, if it is 18,000, we will simply substitute over here P as 18. Okay. In thousands we have to substitute. 3182 is a constant value. This is the Kutcherin's formula. For fire demand and then we would get the demand in liters per minute when we are substituting in thousands we'll get liters per minute next we do have freeman formula that q is equals to 1136 into p by 5 plus 10 where again p is in thousands and q is the quantity of water required per liters per minute okay in liters per minute for this substituted population. So the National Board of Fire under Coitus formula 
q is equals to 4637 root p the whole multiplied by 1 minus 0.01 root p we have bustin's formula q is equals to 5663 root p in all these formula we have to substitute p in thousands we will get the q in liters per minute coming to the factors that affect the rate of demand they are size of city whatever the size is there of that city see this is a city if we are considering this whatever the size is there so if the size is more if the size is increasing definitely the rate of demand will be more climatic conditions in the hot weather conditions we require more water in cold weather conditions we don't uh, consume more water right and quality of water supplied if it is good in quality people take more but if it is less very less uh, in quality people would not prefer that industrial and commercial activities if they are more definitely the rate of demand would be more system of supply cost of water if the cost of water is more people would consume it as limited purpose or less in quantity policy of metering that is if there is meter that is provided that will charge the inlet of water through this pipe okay so depending upon the water you have consumed they will be applying the charges so then depending upon the metering policy also the rate of demand would vary now first let me explain you what is system of supply this is the supply we have intermediate system continuous system intermediate system is nothing but you uh, see this is the day period and you are just releasing it once or twice in this in a week we are just providing once or twice we generally see in some areas only water is provided once in two days once in three days so that is intermediate system and continuous system is that where the water is provided 24 hours okay 24 24 by 7 you will be provided with water that is the continuous system so if continuous system is there people will be consuming more water if intermediate system is there people will be consuming less water next variation of demand how this is varying generally this is the diagram we draw uh, this is the uh, hrs on the that is hours in the horizontal axis demand in the vertical axis so we are just drawing the diagram this is the average demand okay we are just providing a demand to time ratio and uh, coming to this maximum daily demand first let me uh, explain you this is the diagram right this is the demand diagram Uh, we are just arriving at the average demand by considering various factors or taking the average of this okay but the maximum daily demand is 1.8 times of the average daily demand the maximum hourly demand is 1.5 times of average early de hourly demand of a maximum daily remember this maximum daily demand is 1.8 times maximum hourly time is 1.5 times the average daily demand this is the average demand on a daily basis coming to the hourly basis it is 2.7 times okay considering the average hours only we are taking this and coming to the total draft the greater of the following that is greater of the maximum daily demand plus fire demand that is the coincident draft next maximum hourly demand we'll take the maximum of these two whenever we are designing we'll take the maximum that is water requirement which is maximum and we also discussed about the design period right a reasonable future period for which provision is made in water supply scheme it shall not be too large to become a burden on the pre present user not too short to the uneconomical generally 20 to 30 years is prepared as design period whenever you are designing any structure or any population forecasting methods for the uh, design period of any uh, dam or distribution pipe service reservoirs or the main pipes you are uh, you are designing you will be considering some period right it should be such that it's neither too large for the uh, to become it as a burden or nor it should be too short such that it is uneconomical okay generally uh, depending upon the component we are designing this design period would vary see for dams it is 50 years conveying main pipes it is 30 years distribution system it is 30 years 
body treatment units 15 years pumps service reserve voice it is 15 years okay uh, this is also very important topic to tell that is it for this video guys if you like this video please like share and comment to the channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your subscription would greatly help me i appreciate you watching this video thank you